Oh no. Did that do it? It won't focus on anything. What the hell? Uh-oh. Oh my god. I look like a crazy person right now. So, I don't know if you can tell a difference in the quality. I'm using my old camera right now, which also has issues of its own and is old and a little janky. Um, but I was using the Sony Z... Z7... Z something. I don't know. <laughs> like that really popular like vlogging camera that everybody uses recently it just like wasn't working as well it's just been like giving me like internal issues and then this morning i turned it on to start vlogging and i was like this is so weird it's like not focusing right and then my klutzy ass just dropped it and now the lens is like completely wonky and broken and it won't like go back in because it's like literally it's broken it's like not even sticking out straight <sighs> so I have work oh I should go I have work in about 15 minutes and luckily I got ready really fast so I had time to run down to my apartment and grab one of my old cameras but this one um, the quality isn't as good and it has its own issues because it's just really, really old. I got this camera back in 2015. Now I'm like, what do I do? Do I try to see if I can go and get that one fixed? I don't know what can be done or how much it would cost or how long it would take. So I'm like, should I order another camera in the meantime as a backup? And if I do, order another one do I want to get the same one that I had or do I want to do my research and find a different one because I had some issues with that camera but in the meantime this old camera should work hopefully um, I'm gonna run in and get a coffee I ordered Starbucks on the app because I don't really have time to like go in and wait anywhere so hopefully it should be ready um, and then I'm gonna run to work really quick just got to the salon. I'm the only one here so far. Um, my client should be here any minute. So I'm just going to whip a couple foils and get my station ready for when she gets here. So this client is one of my regulars and she was just in today for a touch up as you can see her blonde was quite grown out so I ended up doing a full head of foils on her and I just did a combination of teased weaves and baby lights keeping all of my foils super thin so that I could get as much lift as possible. I left her to process under low heat for about 30 minutes or so, and then when it was time to tone her, I did 5NA as my shadow root. Because she likes her blonde to come up really, really high, I do like to do just like a little bit of a root smudge to make the grow out as smooth as possible. And then I did 8N, 9T, and 9V for the toner all over. And this was her final hair. Just got done with my client. I only had um, one person today. Wednesdays and Saturdays usually are my shorter days. So depending on what I'm doing, I normally only do like one or two people on those days. Our receptionist just helped me. I don't know if you can see everything behind me. Um, so I used to do lashes at the salon and Sorry if the air conditioning is loud. I just, I need to blast it right now. My car says it's 75 degrees too, so that doesn't help. But um, yeah, I used to do lashes and I had a whole bunch of furniture in my lash room upstairs. And since we had shut down last spring, I stopped doing lashes and I don't plan on doing them again, at least not anytime in the foreseeable future. So since I'm moving into a new house, I just needed more storage. So I had a cabinet 
upstairs in the last room that I wanted to bring down to bring to the new house to put in our bathroom. Um, but it was a little bit like big and awkward to carry. So um, our receptionist just helped me carry it downstairs and load it into the car. And it was like kind of hard to maneuver and fit it in here because I also have a chair back here too. So yeah, I'm sweaty from that. But I um, am about to go get my lash extensions removed. I'm getting LASIK eye surgery in two weeks and they told me it was probably best to just get the extensions removed because they're going to have to like tape my eyes open during the procedure and the tape might rip the extensions off which just sounds really painful. So I'm just getting them removed for now and then after I get my LASIK I'm going to definitely get them put back on. But that's what I'm gonna go do right now. Say goodbye. They're looking a little sad anyway. They really needed to be filled at this point anyway. But uh, say goodbye to these extensions. Uh, so sad, so naked. That was a nice quick appointment though. I was in and out in 15 minutes. And you know, whatever, it'll all be worth it. I'm so excited to get LASIK. And it's nice every so often to give your lashes a little bit of a break. Um, but you can see they are not damaged at all whatsoever. Like I got all my lashes. They're nice and long and healthy. Cause I know that's a super common question. Like do lash extensions damage your real lashes? And they absolutely can if they are not done properly. Um, if you get extensions that are too heavy or too long for your natural lashes, if they're not isolated and glued on properly, if you're not taking care of them at home, like if you're picking at them and ripping them out, all of that stuff can definitely cause damage to them. But um, the ones that I get are pretty soft and natural and not too long. And the girl that I go to is amazing, so I never have an issue with mine. Please tell me I have a hair tie or a clip or something. My hair's driving me nuts. I literally just used a mask to tie up my hair. Cute. Here's my sad broken camera. You see how the lens is <laughs> crooked? So it is later in the evening. I'm back home now, but let me show you the cabinet that I brought from the salon. So this is it here. This actually, I had ordered it online from Walmart a couple years ago, and it's labeled as a shoe rack, but I mean, you could just use it for any kind of storage. And I just like how simple it is. It has the three shelves inside and then it has one drawer up top so i think i'm going to put extra towels and bath mats and stuff in here and then more products can go up in this top shelf so anyway i'm just going to make myself a cup of tea that's been my new nighttime routine the last few nights i've been having this gem and lemon ginger and it's super good because it's got like a little bit of a kick from the ginger Mm, I love it. So yeah, I'm just gonna make that and then wash my face and just go to sleep And we'll see you guys in the morning. I really like my outfit today. So let me show you guys What I'm wearing. I have this dress from Zara that I got last summer flannel is from Bass I think it's a men's flannel and then I have some adidas sneakers and I just have like some more high-rise Socks that I just pulled up a little bit and these glasses by the way are from Fermu. They have prescription Obviously, I got them last year, but if I can find them I will link them in the description for you guys. They're super cute I have two clients today. The first one is a balayage touch-up with a haircut and then the second one is a new client um, And I think we're just making her a lot brighter, really blonde. I will see you at the salon. This client is another one of my regulars and we've been doing just like a really natural sun-kissed balayage on her since last summer. And today she was in for a touch-up and a haircut. So I brought all of the brightness up and then we decided to also just brighten her up all over. So I just did a full head balayage application with clay lightener, just freehand painting. And then I did a really cute textured lob haircut. And I really love how her hair turned out and there's Benny 
Anthony and his sister. Every time I'm taking hair pictures, they always have to watch me from the window. Then my second client of the night was a new client. She had reached out to me and told me how about a year ago she got highlights and she didn't love the look of it. And it also left her hair extremely damaged. Like she had so much breakage in the front of her hair. Her hair literally just like broke off from the previous highlights. So the goal was to make her as bright and blonde as possible while still maintaining the integrity and health of her hair. So I did a full head of foils, a combination of teasy lights and baby lights, and I only used 10 volume on her, and I did not process her under any heat. It's the magic of just doing really tiny thin foils. Good morning. <laughs> I slept so terribly last night and I had such a hard time getting up this morning. Oh, my lens was like not completely open. My new camera is supposed to be arriving tomorrow. I'm really excited. I hope that I like it. It's the most expensive camera that I've purchased to date, so. Hopefully it's worth the price. I'll show you guys which one I got when it arrives tomorrow in case you're interested. I know some of you guys also make online content and I get asked, what do I use for filming and editing and that kind of stuff? So I'll show you. Oh, and I also got a new car mount to go with it. I got a new lens for it. Um, and I have some microphones that I had ordered a few weeks back that I have yet to open up. So I'm excited, all this new technology coming and hopefully it will help improve the quality of my videos. I am just making a quick stop at Dunkin before I go to the salon because I haven't eaten anything yet and I know that I'm gonna need some coffee and a little something to eat. So I'm just gonna get a breakfast sandwich and I don't know what coffee I'm gonna get yet. I honestly hate Dunkin' coffee. Like, it's just not strong enough for me, but maybe I'll do like a iced latte or something. Hi, could I please have a turkey sausage, egg and cheese on a toasted English muffin? Okay. And then can I also get a small iced latte with an extra shot of espresso? Okay. Um, and can I, add um just like two shots of caramel to that All right. and that's it okay thank you i just pulled that order out of my ass so we'll see how i like it i don't really go to duncan that often so i feel like every time i come here i just like order different random things and then i always when i'm in the drive-thru i like get nervous being put on the spot. I had did this client's hair back in August, and at this point, as you can see, it was very grown out, so she was just ready to bring the brightness up and just refresh it. She wanted her ends to be more solid and then just have a really nice soft blend throughout, so I did a full head of foils, and I only left out her ends that were already lightened, but everything else I went over, I just did a combination of TZ lights, teased slices, teased weaves. And I can't remember exactly what I used for her toner, but I wanna say I did maybe 7V with a little bit of 8N and 8NA. No shadow root or anything like that. And this was her final hair. I am obsessed. I think this was, well, I liked all the hair that I did this week, but this, <laughs> this is definitely like my top three. Oh, and I did have a few haircut clients after this, but I didn't end up getting any footage of that. Good morning, happy Saturday. I cannot wait for my car mount to get here so I don't have to hold my camera anymore. So I'm on my way to the salon. I have two clients today. They should both be pretty quick and easy. They're both regulars of mine and neither one of them have like a crazy amount of hair and they both are going darker. I will see you at the salon and my battery is running low so I don't know how much footage I can actually get but uh yeah. So my first client, I didn't get any actual footage, but this is her before picture. As you can see, she had a grown out balayage and she was just 
wanting to tone it down and just bring her natural color throughout the ends a little bit more but still keep dimension so i just tried to match up her natural color and just drag that through and then i toned down the lighter pieces that i left out and then my second client she was just ready to go super super dark she was showing me pictures of hair that was like practically black so i mixed 3n with 4n and as much as i love doing blonde it's nice every so often to just change it up a little bit and do some dark color too Good morning. Today's Monday. My new camera finally arrived. What do you think of this quality difference? Like how crazy? Whoa, hey, hey, chill out. I'm curious to see like once I import this onto my computer, how different it looks. But just from what I'm seeing in the viewfinder, oh, I love it. So I ended up getting the Canon M6 Mark II. If you guys are interested, like if you are looking into making YouTube videos too and you're interested in this kind of stuff and you want me to update you as I have this camera longer and I use it more, you know, I'll update you throughout my upcoming vlogs and let you know what I think. I ended up getting a separate lens because this camera, um, the lens like pops on and off so you can change out the lens. The only problem is I love this lens and I got it because it makes the background super blurred which i really like the look of especially for sit down videos but you can't zoom it in and out and if i hold the camera at an arm's length to vlog it's super close up as you can see so i'm getting another lens that'll be a little bit more zoomed out so that i can like carry the camera around and vlog like normal and you won't be like all up in my face i wanted to give you guys some updates and show you some more sneak peeks of the house because last night i got a new desk and we put up some shelves in the kitchen and just more things are like coming along i made another trip to my apartment and like completely packed up my car with stuff that's just what i've been doing like i've just gradually been moving a little at a time so the kitchen is starting to come together it's still messy so please disregard that and then my little desk area the desk is from target so cute the chairs from target also and so is the rug <laughs> And then I hung these up on the wall. Those are both from Target too. <laughs> and this fake tree is from Ikea. Basket is from Home Goods. So this is what it looks like when you come down the stairs. Little office corner. Oh, and this is the new microphone that I got for recording my voiceovers for the vlogs. And then I got a wireless mic as well. Just trying to improve the quality all around for you guys. But yeah, it's a really, really beautiful day. And I got this outdoor patio set from Home Depot. So I think today I'm gonna put this together so that we can get the outdoor area situated. So yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here though. Stay tuned, like I keep telling you guys, I have been vlogging the whole process of us moving into this new house and doing all like the little renovations and getting it decorated. So if you wanna see that process, that vlog will be coming within the next few weeks, whenever it's finally done in here. And my second lens should be arriving by Wednesday. So normal weekly vlogs, with better quality coming soon and now that like my office area is all set up i definitely want to do some more sit down videos so if you guys have any video requests leave them down in the comments i will link this specific camera and lens and the mics and everything in the description if you're interested and yeah i will see you very soon in the next one bye